in examination point of view in ratios age related questions are very important so let's have a special focus on age and ratios already i have given two tricks related to this now we'll solve some examples related to it here the given question is the ratio of age of two students is 3 is to 2 one student is elder than the other by 5 years what is the age of the younger student here let us consider the two students as y e and y elder student and younger student and their age ratio was 3 is to 2 it is given that one student is elder than the other by 5 years so the elder student age is equal to younger student age plus 5 years right from the given ratio we can say that the age of elder student would be 3x and the age of younger student would be 2x now by considering this expression e is equal to y plus 5 we can write 3x is equal to 2x plus 5 so that on rearranging this expression we'll get the value of x is equal to 5 here we need the age of younger student so y is equal to 2 times x that is 2 times 5 which is equal to 10 years next example the sum of the present age of a father and his son is 100 years. Five years back, their age was in a ratio 2 is to 1. What is the present age of the son? Here in the problem statement, the sum of the present age of father and son is given as 100 years. And five years back, their age was in a ratio 2 is to 1. That is, five years back the father age was f minus 5 and son age was s minus 5 if i am taking the ratio f minus 5 upon s minus 5 is equal to 2 upon 1 let's consider this as expression 1 and now on considering this if i go for a cross multiplication here we can write 2s minus 10 would be equal to f minus 5 right now on rearranging this expression we'll get 2s minus f would be equal to 10 minus 5 that is equal to 5 let's consider this as expression 2 and if i'm writing expression 1 here as s plus f is equal to 100 then on simplifying this expression we'll get 3s is equal to 100 plus 5 105 so that the value of s is equal to 105 upon 3 which is equal to 35 years